when they repossessed my house, I started the repossessed website so that other people in my position could talk to each other. The website's a huge success. I've been branded the Repo Man, but that's okay. The Repo Man puts people before politics. People are at least talking to me. And what's coming across is the anger they feel against the government. We've received loads of horror stories, but most people don't want them published. They feel embarrassed and ashamed to go public. Like it's their fault the banks got greedy and they lost their home. I've lost everything. I've got nothing left to lose. So it really doesn't matter to me what people think. I've done nothing wrong except trust the system. The repossessed feel isolated and let down and it seems the website is proving to be a release for their feelings. Anyway, we're going to make it easy for people to make contact. We're going to upgrade the site to include direct video uploading and a web chat so I can broadcast and encourage people to talk to me openly about their problems. I'm not the brain of Britain, but even I can see the divide developing between the haves and have-nots. And still the authorities don't do anything to fix it. Ask yourself why. Just who are they looking out for? Not me. Not you, but it's the in crowd in the city, the banks. But what about ordinary people? Stop repossessions now. Never mind a credit crisis. We've got a crisis of trust. Who can you trust? Not Northern Rock, I can tell you. You can't trust the banks. Even the banks don't trust the banks. You can't get a mortgage let alone a straight answer from a politician. I wouldn't trust them as far as I can throw them anyway. What's the time, please? Now, that's a rhetorical question. When Lord Stevenson of Halifax was asked that question, he decided it was time to go. I only want to know the time. We're setting up an all-party committee to look into this matter, and it will report to the House in due course. Why can't you just tell me the time? You can't expect me to comment on any one particular case until the outcome of the inquiry. So you won't tell me the time? Enough is enough. We need work, family, homes, and a fair deal for everybody with a very real opportunity to build a good life. Credit crunch didn't creep up on us. The authorities knew well what was happening and did nothing all to protect the fat cat's jobs. We need straight answers from leaders with integrity. No more old boys clubs. No more closing the ranks. Hide the truth from the people until it's too late. Ready to I've lost my home, my business, my life. I've nothing left to lose, but maybe I can help others to keep their home their work, their families. By stepping outside the pantomime of politics and use straight talking that people can understand. But I can't do it alone. Get in touch.